Coaches, welcome back this week. I'm here with my staff, Graham and Micah, and we're going to give you seven things today. We're going to give you three one-minute drills that you can put into your practice. Remember, you don't have to always do it the way that we do it. You can adapt it to your age stage appropriate, but these are drills that you can implement to help build good habits within your team. But before we get there, we're going to talk about four things you can do to help your team bond together and grow together. The first one's called Open Mic Monday. And our program, we really pride ourselves in transparency. We want our guys to be transparent with each other. We want our coaching staff to be transparent with each other. And we feel like that really makes our culture go the right direction and head the right direction. And so every single Monday, we open it up, whether it's after film or preparing for a game. We just tell our guys, hey, this is an opportunity for you to air out whatever you're feeling. It could be something going on in your personal life or something maybe as a coaching staff we're not doing well. But we have found that's a really, really good way for our players just to air out however they're feeling. And it's, we found that it's really worked really well for us. Yeah, a couple things you want to think about in Open Mic Monday is how comfortable are you? And it takes time to grow it with your team. So we try and stay with the three boundaries of truth, love, and transparency. And that's how we want our players to talk to each other. You know, if they're not talking to each other and, and not telling the truth, they're not being honest. And if they're not talking to each other in love, it's just going to turn into an argument or a complaint. So one of the keys to Open Mic Monday is being able to facilitate that. And it doesn't just happen overnight. So it's going to have to build up in time. Number two, this is something we do with our, with our players during practice, it's player celebration. So when we come to the huddle at the end of practice, we just pick a particular person. So we don't give three or four people, but we're just looking for one guy. And we're going to say, hey, listen, let's everybody celebrate this one player. Let's just shower him with compliments. You'd be surprised at what the wonders it works for their confidence, for a player just to get celebrated. And for, for the teammates that are given those, it's equally as empowerful. Those players are saying, hey, I'm willing to give to a teammate, and it works both ways. Coaches, number three is date night. And I know that might sound weird to some of you all, but here we just don't talk about it. We want our players to actually be about it. And so a lot of the concepts we're gonna talk about, we put them into practice. And like I said, the third one is date night. And what we did is we had our guys go and get an actual date. Um, and if you're coaching girls, you can do the same thing. They can get a date and bring a guy uh, over to your house or to an event. And what we wanted to show them is that there's wholesome ways to entertain yourselves and also to have fun. And uh, another higher arching theme was just how to respect and treat the opposite sex. We want to make sure we are, are building and growing and grooming men here at Emmanuel College and I believe it was, a, it was a real success. We got to see guys cook for the ladies that they brought, open doors, uh, go and serve them, get them food and drinks, and uh, it really just turned everything on its head. In addition to that, we had some fun games to play that just really made it enjoyable and showed them how to enjoy their time uh, without making mistakes or doing things that uh, are not going to serve them down the road. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. And let's just be truthful about it. Not every guy landed a date. Uh, and they all tried, but not all of them did. But we still had a good time. We played some different games. We actually had a bouncy house there. Uh, we played some trivia games, and we played the dating game with people they didn't even know. So we had some good laughs, and it was just an opportunity. You know, I remember my dad used to always tell me, if you want to find out something, find out something about somebody you might be interested in having a long-term relationship with, see how they treat other people. And it was really interesting to see our players treat other people uh, they're particularly the girls that they invited or just to be around other couples and see how they interacted. It allowed us to give them some good coaching and help grow them um, as men. And the last one, number four, is candor and care. We did this one just the other day after a game. We actually had a tough loss and uh, we needed to get to the heart of things, but we also needed to build confidence. So we went with a, a candor and care session. And what we were looking for is it, we put the players into groups of four and we were having them show care for each other. Talk about the things that they really appreciate and love, love about each other. So we had them give about maybe five things or so, but then we went to the candor part of it as well. And this is where it got a little bit more real. Hey, here's what I love about you, Graham. Here's what I love about you, Mike. And we shower them a little bit, but then we say, hey, but here's the thing that's got to get better for our team to get better. That was the candor and care. So we have a lot of different things we do. We're always focusing on building good team culture around here. But uh, those are four things that you might be able to apply to your team. And we'd also love to hear your ideas. So let us know what you're doing with your team uh, to build a culture and to allow teams to bond better together.